Well, one team in the Tennessee Valley is headed to the Nationals. That's right, a group of high school athletes will be traveling to Chicago at the end of the month to play in the Wheelchair Basketball National Tournament. Our Kayla Carlisle joins us now with more. Kayla, how's the team looking? Mike, they're looking pretty good, I must say. But the team is actually a part of the Ability Sports Network, which has been around for a few seasons now. Today, I met up with a director and coach who showed me what it's like to play in a wheelchair. And let me tell you, it's not very easy. Twenty-four seconds. That's all the time you get to try and score in the game of basketball. But that time doesn't change, even if you have a disability. Well, I think most people would be shocked at how competitive it is. Uh, which today I'm teaching my college class this sport, uh, and their their eyes are opened about how difficult it is and how competitive it can be. David Kyle teaches wheelchair sports at the University of Alabama in Huntsville. Today, he's trying to teach students how to use only their upper body strength for a sport that requires your lower body. From dribbling to passing and just understanding how to use the wheelchair, these students are understanding what it's like for at least 3.6 million users across the country. There's only 45 to 50 high school teams in the entire country, and we have the largest program of any country in the world. Ability Sport Network is located right here in Huntsville. The program helps get middle school and high school students involved in Paralympic sports. Uh, when you look at the statistics for people with disabilities, they're not physically active. And so that's the major focus, that's our heart of the program. And the program welcomes students from all over to join in on the fun. David Kyle says they have people travel all the way from Mississippi just to be a part of the greatness. Now that program is in its third season of basketball and they are already gearing up for a national tournament at the end of this month. However, they are looking for don donations to help get them and their equipment there. So for a link to that, go to rocketcitynow.com or download the Rocket City Now app. Putting the Valley first, I'm Kayla Carlisle, WCDX News.